throwing up blood is always a medical emergency. If you are actually throwing up blood right now, do not even wait to finish this video and get down to the nearest emergency department right away. Call 911 if you have to. Otherwise, this video is for patients wanting to know more about throwing up blood. I will not be using any medical terms as I am not talking to my fellow healthcare providers. I am talking directly to you, the patient. Let's see how you throw up blood. This is our mouth. It connects down to the food pipe which goes down to the stomach. The stomach then connects to the upper part of our intestine. Bleeding in any of these places can result in throwing up blood. So, when you throw up blood, how do you know where it is coming from? The simple answer is, you simply don't. Well, uh, you will find some people on the internet um, saying that you tell it by the color of the blood. But that is simply not true. Any bleeding in any of these places is bright red when it just starts to bleed. As the blood shits in the stomach and gets digested, it turns darker. We can divide uh, throwing up blood into three different categories based on what is likely to happen. The first category uh, is severe life-threatening bleed that can kill you within a few hours if not treated properly. The example of this type of bleeding is uh, a varicial bleed. Uh, a varicial bleed is a kind of bleeding that happens in a uh, food pipe. People with bad liver disease may get this kind of bleed. Varices are engorged blood vessels uh, that are present in, in the food pipe. They are engorged in patients uh, who have liver damage, mostly because of alcohol, but can also happen in other types of liver diseases. Uh, in these patients, the damaged liver uh, causes a backflow, uh, causes a blockage in the normal blood flow from food pipe to the liver. Uh, instead, the obstructed blood flows backwards up into the food pipe. The blood vessels then become distended and uh, when they rupture, the bleeding is so fast and large that you can bleed to death within a few hours. If someone has known liver damage, this is the type of bleeding you need to really worry about. The second category of uh, bleeding is uh, usually self-limited. They bleed a little and mostly stop on their own. Of course, there may be exceptions and even the most benign type of bleed can become life-threatening in certain patients at any time. Um, but the most common, uh, most common example of this type of bleeding is a small tear in the food pipe somewhere around here. Uh, it can happen after you forcefully vomit many times and cause trauma to your food pipe. It can happen during hangovers when you get uh, too sick and keep throwing up forcefully. Uh, that may cause some tear in your food pipe and can cause uh, throwing up blood. But the thing is, uh, there is no way to tell if this particular type of uh, bleeding is what's causing you to throw up blood. They can only tell that when they put a scope down your mouth and look inside the food pipe. The third category of uh, throwing up blood can go either way. Uh, they can stop on their own or can progress rapidly and can result in death. Bleeding ulcers. 
are good examples of this kind of bleeding. Ulcers can happen in the stomach or uh, the upper part of the intestine. Uh, the kind and amount of bleed depends on what kind of blood vessel is eroded by the ulcer. A small vessel can stop bleeding on its own, but a large vessel can keep bleeding until you, you actually run out of blood. Ulcer bleeding can sometimes be so slow that you may not have any throwing up blood. The blood may quietly go down um, and actually come out as black tarry stool instead of vomiting blood. Thank you for listening. Uh, you can read more about uh, throwing up blood and other symptoms on the Symptoms and Diagnosis book website. Thank you very much.